In Jedi Survivor, completing all seven meditation chambers will grant access to a map upgrade that reveals the location of all essence upgrades in the world, all of which will be covered in this guide. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. The Meditation Chamber of Duality is the first of seven. It is discovered as part of the second Chapter 2 main quest, The Key to Tantalor. After resting in the basement of Pyloon's saloon, we will venture down into a subterranean tunnel system, eventually finding our way to the Chamber of Duality. This chamber is pretty quick to get through. Start by force pulling the nearby power orb and placing it in the coupler. This will activate a bridge, which can then be crossed to the center platform. After a cutscene, pull the power orb over and place it in the next nearest coupler and cross the resulting bridge. Pull open and secure the door, then enter the small room to find a data disk treasure. Double back and grab the second power orb, bringing it back to the center platform. The final bridge requires two orbs for power. Transfer both orbs to the two remaining couplers, then cross the third bridge. Wall run to the side route and open the chest for the Jedi paint weapon materials. Wall jump up to an elevated room and pull, then secure the rope to free Z. After another cutscene, you'll be able to retrieve the essence from the nearby obelisk, which will unlock the resilience perk, which increases the capacity of the block meter. The Meditation Chamber of Reason can be accessed relatively early in the game, just after completing the first part of the Key to Tantalor main quest. A rumor will lead you to this High Republic chamber in the Basalt Rift of the Basalt Forest on the planet Kobo. With the Ancient Tuner in hand, you can open and enter the Chamber of Reason. Start by sliding down the rope to the lowest floor. Use Force Pool to grab the nearby Power Sphere and place it in the Bridge Projector to power it. Then use the Force to flip the nearby lever, which will move the projector to a new position. Cross the resulting bridge and turn right at the end, Force Pulling the cracked wall to reveal another Power Sphere. Grab it with Force Pool and carry it back to solid ground. If the Power Sphere is left on the ground long enough, it will teleport back to its most recent holder. Because of that, drop the Power Sphere, quickly force pull the previous lever, and then pick the Power Sphere back up so it doesn't disappear. Pulling the lever will move the bridge projector back to its original position. Cross over to the other side and interact with the nearby Force Echo, quickly picking the Power Sphere back up so it doesn't disappear. This will add the Talk of the Future databank entry. Carry the Power Sphere up the elevator and place it in the bridge projector, then interact with the Force Echo for the Goals of Kree databank entry. Force pull the nearby lever to move the bridge projector, then start crossing over the bridge. Turn right when directly over the bridge on the lower level and grab the power sphere from the device projecting that bridge, then carry it across the rest of the bridge you're standing on. Once across, place the power sphere in the next bridge projector and travel along the resulting bridge to a dead end. There is a force echo there that you can sense to unlock the dead end databank entry. Double back to the bridge projector and while standing next to the projector, force pull the nearby lever to raise yourself and the projector to an upper level, then cross the now elevated bridge. 
you can interact with the force echo on the other side for the in good time databank entry. Move down the hall and have BD1 scan the wall painting on your right to unlock the A Secret Meeting databank entry. After exiting the hall, pick up the data disk treasure near the ledge before dropping down to the level below. Next, pull the lever to move the bridge projector but don't cross immediately. This projector is faulty and turns off at regular intervals. Wait for the bridge to disappear at least once after its first activation, then start sprinting across the bridge as soon as it reappears and jump to the grooved wall on your left as soon as possible, while running the rest of the way to solid ground. Combine jumps and wall running to get back to the upper level, then return to the ledge we previously dropped down from, but don't drop down this time. Instead, force pull the power sphere that is now within reach and carry it back to the other side of the upper level hall. Go to the midpoint of the upper level bridge, then look up and to the left. There is a large hole in the wall that you can force push the power sphere through. It will drop down into a receptacle beneath, opening the gate. This will grant access to the chest that contains the diligence emitter lightsaber part. Move down that hall, past the chest, and emerge near the bridge projector on the lift. Grab the power sphere from that projector and force throw it into the bridge projector on the opposite side of the platform. Cross the resulting bridge and approach the obelisk, which will open, revealing an essence. Interacting with the essence grants the dexterity perk, which increases the damage of all lightsaber throw attacks. For an easy exit, Force push the lever on the nearby wall to raise a bridge that will take you directly to the chamber's exit. The Meditation Chamber of Clarity can be accessed shortly after the start of the Chapter 3 main quest, once we've learned the Neko Mount Tame and Jump Exploration abilities. We can start from the Bygone Settlement Meditation Point in Rambler's Reach. We'll grab a Neko and head into the Untamed Downs. The Chamber of Clarity is located up on a conspicuous high point that can be reached with the Neko Mount Jump. To start, we'll force pull the movable cube, jump onto it, then drop down into the compartment it was previously located in. This will lead to a new area where we can first pick up a data disk treasure before continuing on. Along the way, we will interact with a force echo for the tenacity databank entry. To get across the next gap, we need to force pull the first cube, leap to it, then quickly force pull the second cube and leap across. A short distance ahead is a chest containing the unique non-metal weapon materials. Grab it, then drop down back to the entrance of the chamber, heading further inside. We need to force pull the next block, then push it in the opposite direction, quickly hitching a ride on its safe side. In the next room, find the new cube and force pull it out. 
quickly climb the cube and leap to an elevated area where we can interact with a second force echo for the concerted effort databank entry. Head down the nearby path to a one-way door. From this ledge, we can force push another set of doors off their hinges. Next, we'll drop down and interact with a third force echo in a previously blocked compartment, unlocking the trials databank entry. Turn around and force pull the cube at the end of this rail. Climb aboard and stand on the wooden ledge so you can force pull it back in the opposite direction. We need to jump to the doorway we recently cleared. If you have the air dash ability, this is pretty easy, but it can be done with just the double jump and good timing. Before moving on, we'll want to force pull both of the cubes from the previous room. We will also want to sense the fourth force echo unlocking the A Candid Moment databank entry. After that, force push the cube out from this elevated area, revealing a path back into the first room of the chamber. Then, force pull a bar out on the opposite side of the room and make your way across to the final room in the chamber. When approached, the obelisk will open to reveal an essence. Interacting with it will unlock the Fellowship perk, which allows BD1 to hold an extra stim for Cal. And that is all of the collectibles in the Chamber of Clarity. The Meditation Chamber in the Devastated Settlement can be reached during the On the Trail Chapter 3 main quest, at which point you'll have the Relter Tame Exploration ability. It's nearest to the Grand Courtyard Meditation Point. Grab the nearby Relter and take a sharp left. Glide in circles until you are low enough to safely land on an inconspicuous ledge. This is where the improvised entrance to the unnamed meditation chamber is located. Dispatch the droids inside, then collect the data disk treasure, fallen padawan databank entry, and ambidexterity perk essence. The ambidexterity perk temporarily increases lightsaber damage after shooting targets with the blaster. The Meditation Chamber of Detachment can be accessed after completing the second Chapter 4 main quest. Once we've obtained the Kobo Grinder, Dash, and Marin's Charm abilities. We will start from the Mountain Ascent Meditation Point in Prospector's Folly. Pass through the two green laser doors, then drop down and pass under a waterfall to find the entrance to this Meditation Chamber. Begin by quickly rounding up three Force Echoes. These unlock the databank entries A Rare Find, Missing in Action, and Worlds Away. After collecting those, force pull the movable cube and grab the power orb from the newly revealed compartment. Place the orb in the nearby laser to power it. Use the Kobo Grinder ability to connect the laser from the wall it hits to the clump of Kobo dust binding a data disk treasure to the wall. This will release the data disk so that it can be picked up. Next, we'll need to burn away the Kobo dust on the back wall. To do this, force pull the cube and quickly switch over to your Kobo grinder. Spray the side of the cube so that the laser will hit and ignite the resulting trail. 
Then push the cube back towards the wall. Spray the back wall with more Kobo dust to make sure the fire links over. This next part is a little bit tricky. We want to pull away the first cube so that we can move out the second cube that we just unblocked. Ultimately, we want to alternate the movement of the two cubes so that they collide with one another in a manner that causes the cube further from the lift to be stopped on top of the pressure plate near the center of the track. This will lower the lift to the ground floor. At that point, the cube that is closer to the lift can be moved onto the lift, which will be important in a moment. First, let's get the chest that was hidden behind the second cube. It contains the Jedi Paint BD-1 materials. Run over to the lift and climb atop the cube there. Push or pull the remaining cube off of the pressure plate to raise the lift. This will put us within reach of the upper level. When approached, the obelisk there will open, revealing an essence. Interacting with it will unlock the patient's perk, which causes the slow ability to also restore some life. The meditation chamber of connection can be accessed during the third chapter 4 main quest, which will take us to the Visid Bog. Starting from the Visid Bog meditation point, zip along two lines to reach this meditation chamber. Before we start solving the puzzle, a force echo can be interacted with near the left wall of the central room, which will unlock the homesick databank entry. Next, step on the pressure plate near the back of the room to reveal a power orb, and transfer it to the laser near the center of the room. Use the Kobo Grinder ability to link the laser to the nearby patch of Kobo dust, burning it away. Enter through the opening and turn right, collecting the data disk treasure on the upper level and jump dashing over to the elevated platform at the center of the central room. Stand on the leftmost pressure plate to make a bridge for a Kobo Dust trail over the first nearby waterfall. Then, begin making a Kobo Dust trail from the laser going clockwise around the room. Once the Kobo trail has ignited across the first bridged waterfall, you can move over to the second pressure plate on this platform, which will make a bridge over the second waterfall in the way. The Kobo Dust trail can then be fully led to the next clump of Kobo matter that needs to be burned away. We will take this new path to unlock the next door. Along the way, we will pick up two more databank entries, the first being Insolence or Bravery, and the second, Mind Challenge. Take the newly unlocked shortcut back towards the entrance of the chamber, and begin making a trail of burning Kobo dust back towards the recently unlocked door. Lead the trail right up to the ledge, then drop down and quickly start pouring more Kobo dust down on the existing flame. 
lead the burning trail to the Kobo Matter blocked door below to unblock a chest which contains the persistence emitter lightsaber part. After getting that, we will need to repeat the same process, leading a trail of burning Kobo dust back up to the ledge we were just at. This time though, instead of dropping down, we will need to quickly move the power orb from the laser and place it in the bridge projector near the ledge. Be sure to resume feeding Kobo dust to the fire as soon as possible so it does not go out. We can then lead the path of burning Kobo dust across the newly formed bridge and to the last wall of Kobo matter in our way. Near the back left corner of the obelisk room is the final force echo, which will add the private doubt entry to our databank. Interacting with the essence at the center of the room unlocks the recuperation perk, which increases the minimum level that the force meter automatically regenerates to. The Meditation Chamber of Fortitude can be accessed near the end of Chapter 4 in the main quest after unlocking the Force Lift and Slam abilities. Starting at the Riverbed Watch Meditation Point in Rambler's Reach, we will make our way up to the top of a large corroded silo nearby. On the roof, there is a hatch that can be opened with the Force Lift ability. We will then need to use a combination of abilities unlocked throughout our journey to safely reach the bottom of the silo. There are a handful of collectibles in the silo alone, but I'm going to beeline it to the bottom of the silo for the purposes of this guide. Once at the bottom of the silo, be sure to open the nearby shortcut to the outside world, then proceed to the meditation chamber.
The Meditation Chamber of Fortitude is fairly straightforward. All that is needed is to defeat the boss Anoth Estra. Afterwards, have BD-1 slice open the nearby chest for the two-tone metal BD-1 materials. There is also a data disk treasure hidden in a specific pot. There are two more collectibles beyond the central door. The first is a force echo to the right upon entry. Interact with it to unlock the hand-in-hand -hand data bank entry. There is also an obelisk which will open to reveal an essence. Interact with that to unlock the persistence perk, which causes each enemy defeated during slow to heal Cal for a small amount of life. Completing all seven meditation chambers grants access to a final reward. To get it, you'll first need to make it all the way to the third chapter 6 main quest, which directs you to the Alignment Control Center meditation point. Nearby is a console that can only be sliced after completing all meditation chambers. Doing so will upgrade the hollow map so that it reveals the location of all essence upgrades that haven't been obtained. The only caveat is that this upgrade does not reveal the location of forced tears, which do grant skill points when completed. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Friday, and a great weekend, and as always, thanks for watching.